Strict Workflow is a Chrome extension that you can set up to limit your visiting certain websites when you're trying to get some work done. So if you visit Facebook too often or Pinterest, you can set this up uh, to, to stop you from visiting those websites. And you can set up the time. You can set up uh, how much time you're, you want to focus on your work and how much time you want to limit yourself from visiting these websites. So if you go to the Chrome Web Store and you look for a strict workflow, then you click on free, and you're going to add it. So it appears in your uh, Chrome extension bar up here, and um, I'm just going to exit that. So now let's take a look at your options. If you right-click on it, once you install it, uh, you should be able to change the options. So if you go to Options, now it to automatically um, will restrict you to these websites, but you can change these. For instance, I never visit these websites. I'm just going to delete them. Uh, but if I wanted to add more websites, I can just add them there. And so they're presently blocked. Um, now down here you can change how much time you want to work and how much break you want. So it defaults to work 25 minutes break for 5 minutes, which is good. And you can have a choice of showing just a notification. You get a banner across your screen when your time is up and you can get a break. Or you get a ring. I get quite startled by the ring, so I'm just going to click on show a notification when timer finishes. And then I'm going to click on save changes. Uh, and I'm just going to exit this window. And then I'm going to start, get it going. So the countdown is on. So now if you try to visit Facebook, let's see what happens. I get this notification that the page is blocked until a break timer starts. And that'll count down 25 minutes, and then the five minutes will begin when I get to browse the web. Um, the This is a great extension, however, it does not prevent you from using other browsers to visit the sites that you want to visit. So this might be more ideal on a Chromebook. If you're working on a Chromebook, it prevents you from visiting other, using other browsers. And that's the end of my tutorial. Thank you to Alice Keeler for this wonderful find.